guys it's your girl jay and welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time of stopping by you're most definitely welcome also if you're returning back to my channel thank you so much for sticking with this baby girl i do not take it for granted okay guys so very quickly i'm going to be doing something that i've never done before and i'm going to be doing a movie review i um, came across this movie on caramel sugar yes i love her so basically i was going to try that story and then i stumbled on the movie and i went to check it out on netflix and i saw that it was even trending as number one um in nigeria and then it was trending what number um generally so i was like okay let's watch the movie so i went and i watched the movie though i saw like some little little things that would, would somehow sound like a critic like something they should have paid attention to but you know i'll just let you guys be the judge of the movie so i'm going to be showing a trailer of the whole movie it's a 20 it's a two minute um trailer so if you don't want to see the trailer you can just jump to whatever um timer that i put right here but if you want to see the trailer then keep watching <laughs> Won't go you. see how you perform this night now. If you tell me say na fifteen babes, you get. And I tell them say na fifteen babes day. <laughs> it has to be fifteen babes. I met a trafficker today, a madam who takes people to Europe. She goes by the name of Alero. I'm only now one thousand two hundred dollars. She don't pay. She go pay. What's this? It's my report. Everything that has happened while I've been in the house. We're gonna leave tomorrow. Once we reach you, we'll feel some better when you call us. Everybody, calm down! All friends here, put them for here. You know, say for this game, many people they form mafia. These guys, they're gonna be the real mafia. You get crazy? Why did I run the phone? Why did I tell you before? <laughs> this is no longer your story. It is now my story. I mean, it's barely 24 hours. Give some time before you begin to panic. What if something has happened to her? The longer we wait, the, the worse our situation could get. Yusef, if you fuck with me, I'll ask by you. All right, guys. For those of you that watched the trailer, what do you think? Do you think? Anyways, you might not really know. So the movie, this movie last, this movie has actually been hyped like a whole lot, you know, and. Let's just review it, okay? Basically, so I'm just going to be talking about the movie in general, and I'm also going to be talking about some of the things that I think that you should have paid more attention to. And yeah, so let's get right into it. So, in this movie, Oloture, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, I didn't know, but that's how I know how to pronounce it, okay? Thank you. Accept my pronunciation like that. Thanks a bunch. Okay, so in this movie, Oloture, we saw A, which is Oloture herself, but her undercover name was A. She was, was an undercover agent who was supposed to be like an undercover agent in um, a prostitute setting. Do you guys understand? So we saw A in that setting, and she, I see, I won't even lie. This is the first time that I've ever seen Sharon Hoja play that kind of role. When I saw her, hey, wait, wait, wait. When I saw her, I was like, okay, this has to be it, you know? And I was like, okay, 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 let's see, bring more. You know, I've never actually seen Sharon Hoja play that kind of role. 
so i was very interested i was very interested so um she was an undercover agent in a prostitute um kind of setting and she was supposed to like investigate about um people that um do um, prostitute trafficking and all those many many stuff sha so basically she was just supposed to gather information about it so we saw a he as the undercover agent and she had like a very close friend who was linda linda also had like a sister in the village with her mother but that one was like a novice her name is beauty so linda and um a he were friends they looked out for each other basically um so linda was processing how to um get to europe how to like get to europe for herself and her sister so whatever money she made from the whole prostitution job she just paid like mr melta to madame alero that is the madame europe that is planning to take some girls to europe for a better life quote and unquote okay so um one way or the other a he got to know about the whole europe thing after discussing with Linda, a friend that will be it. I need like we need to be making better money. Do you understand? Like this life that I live in, not the life now. Do you understand? So basically, Sha Linda Sha tipped her and told her that she was going to talk to Madame Alero and blah 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 blah. Basically, she met with Madame Alero even though she didn't meet through Madame Alero the right way because Linda was technically supposed to like talk to her, get her approval and all of that. Um, so that was that. Fast forward, fast forward, she f they finally got to um they finally had the opportunity to go to Europe through Madame Alero, right? And um oh on the side was blessing. How can I forget that? On the side was blessing who was with a gangster boyfriend that was always beating her up. At every slight chance that it gets, ladies, you need to be shining your eye. I go the relationship with guy, go just the beat you anyhow. You be better drum, happy how. That's a side sha. So basically, they got the opportunity to go to Europe, not knowing that they were they were they were making the worst mistakes of their lives. So Madame Alero took them to like another setting entirely, and then um, they had to search search their bags. Um, to take out any phone that was not uh, that was in their possession because they, they didn't want them to like contact anybody else and all that bridge stuff so um a he well she appeared to be a smart girl in this movie basically so one way or the other a found a way to get a mobile phone into um wherever it, the place that they lodged them and so in the, in the night when everybody had slept supposedly because our friend linda was not sleeping so when everybody had slept a a called emika which was a partner um in the agency where she was working as an undercover for to tell him that oh they've taken them to so so so, so place this this that that and emika was like okay he was going to come and get her out and then she said um the last place that she remembered them turning i mean the boss that was taking them turning um into so he was like he was going to come and get her and then they gave them their passports basically um some of them most of them didn't have the same place they were going to like different countries and all so it was just that then um linda asked um a for the phone so that she could just call her mom to tell her that oh be, um, mom my, myself and my sister we are okay because remember i said she was trying to process for beauty as well so basically europe went wrong because a tried to escape with beauty oh and in the process of linda calling her mom she got caught by the hoodlums that were um doing the whole europe thing so they cut off her head <laughs> that part looked so real i mean i've never been so impressed with that kind of <laughs> i don't know but that part looks really real for a nigerian movie i'm just saying <laughs> i'm just saying you know so um linda got killed and um, they proceeded to the oil um to the oil um but to the border proceeded to the border because they kind of found out that 
the phone was or whoever owns the phone which was supposedly supposed to be linda i don't know it was sha you know it was linda that was with the phone now so they find out that they found out that linda was giving information to an outsider which technically was a e but they were not going to snitch on each other do you understand so linda got killed so they had to like move asap so they moved and they moved towards the border at the border a e and beauty tried to escape Beauty was able to escape, but A was not able to, like she could not escape the whole um, getting across the border. So eventually she went across the border. So basically guys, this movie is, I'm, I just tried to like summarize the whole thing in like very quickly, but the movie is a whole lot. And I feel like it is a movie that we can all um relate to as africans i don't know we can basically just relate to the whole thing now let's talk about the critics because see that's really what me i'm about yeah i enjoyed the movie i won't lie um if i'm supposed to rate the movie i rate it a seven or maybe an eight a seven seven over ten it was a it was a really really interesting movie and um it portrayed like a lot of things that are actually going on on that g that most of us don't know or we know or we don't pay so much attention to because poverty is like a main thing in nigeria you know so one of the things that <laughs> i noticed in the movie that that would sound like like i'm criticizing the movie is that a he is supposed to be an undercover agent working for an agency see in that movie i just felt like a was working alone no lies i felt like she was working alone i felt like she didn't have enough support i felt like that mission was too delicate to send a novice that works in that kind of agency to that kind of place to play that kind of role and I felt like she didn't play the role well enough because, I mean, if you're working for an agency as an undercover agent, you should have your shit together. So she was in that setting, she, <laughs> no eating cameras, no sort of recorder or anything to record conversations or eating cameras that would probably be connected to the to the to our head office where she and her partners work. You know, they get live feeds of whatever stuff goes on with her i mean with her permission of course you know like maybe she, when she's going to because um at some part of the movie she went to see one of like the major um people that was that were involved in the prostitution traffic or in prostitute trafficking and all of that um was that not sir, sir phillips that was sir phillips eventually sir phillips raped her yes because i felt like she was not smart no no recording device nothing nothing to track what exactly is going on wherever you go to she just had like a diary excuse you a diary can get misplaced it with a diary you can be caught you know um it could say yeah, it could a lot of things could happen to the diary i don't know if you guys understand what i'm saying a lot of things could go on with the diary she didn't have she, i felt like she was basically walking alone that was why i felt and i felt like she didn't play that role well enough um take for instance at the beginning past where she was supposed to um, where she was supposed to like sleep, um, spend the night with one guy um, that picked her up instead of one other girl. At that point, you're supposed to be an undercover agent. There should be a way that uh, you can, you know, you won't make it look too obvious that you're trying to play undercover here, okay? You would have just, I felt like she could have just seduced him, drugged him or something, and then just slept off. That kind of thing i don't know i just felt like there was a better way to have played that role and i feel like she was walking alone then at um by the time you guys watch the movie you understand what i'm saying at the at um, when she went to see sir phillips um alongside with madame alero and the other girls so um, madame alero introduced a to sir phillips so technically it was supposed to be like a girl like his girl for the night pardon me she was supposed to be like his girl for the night and she had to pretend that the champagne poured on her skirt and then she was she was seriously freaking out 
like bogo all those things were necessary at all i feel like she could have just played him in fact that was the perfect place to drug that man to play whatever tactics that an undercover agent play to understand what i'm saying so i enjoyed the movie but but i could not help but notice some of those lapses and another place that worked with me was this place <laughs> Oh, wait, wow, bum bum! Are you serious? Yes, Jesus Christ! See, so this is not how to go to Europe. I don't know how to it. <laughs> Guys, I'm really sorry. When I saw this part of the movie, I was like, "What? Like these girls are really stark naked, butt naked, breast naked." <sighs> I don't know how they they, they filmed that scene, but <laughs> yeah, well done, well done, Heavenly Life movie film. You guys, <laughs> I don't know how you made those guys agree or whatever pay you gave them. So, <laughs> anyways, guys, basically we saw Bum Bum and side breast shark. We saw Bum Bum and side breast in the movie because they they had to initiate them at some point, but. <laughs> I could not just believe that I was seeing that kind of scene in the Nigerian movie. I just... So guys, basically, that is the movie. Like I said, I'm going to rate it a 7 over 10. The movie was absolutely nice and you should see the movie. Alright! <laughs> please guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly do so. Kindly do so. F your gay. F my life. F my channel. Thank you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!